listeners. Today, <coughs> we need to discuss about uh, testing. One second. Yes, sir. So today is the first class demo. Yeah. What is your testing? Anyone? Any idea about testing? Just a normal word only. You can unmute and you can speak. What is your testing? Anyone? Because it's a normal word only. I'm not asking about any software related. <laughs> Everyday general word. Yes, Gausia. Uh, yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. Uh, testing is nothing but uh, we, uh, we have to test that whether the functionality is working properly or not. Yes, okay. Very good. Yes. So generally, it is not related to any software and any application. General word testing is here. For example, simple thing I will tell. Sir, if you want to buy a pen, if you want to buy a pen, the pen cost is even though three rupees or five rupees or 10 rupees, whatever is there. Do you want to test it? Yes. If you want to buy a bike, if you want to buy a mobile, if you want to buy a car, if you want to buy a grapes, if you want to buy sweets, see, in general, general exams I'm telling, I'm not related to subjects. Uh, today, I never touch about anything subject. Uh, just it is introduction class demo. What is testing, what contains everything I will tell. So, <clears throat> so if you want to buy a pen, just you have to open cap and we have to write. If it is working simple, we can buy it. Sir, everyone mute. If you have any doubts, you can unmute and you can speak, okay? Sir, bike. Bike means we go and go for test drive. Test drive. Mobile. If it is a mobile, you can go to showroom. We can ask the features and we can check. And we can, if camera is there, I can open. We can take one screenshot, photo. If any music is there, you can play the songs. So we have validated something. Car, test drive. Grapes. First, I have to check look and feel how it is looking good or not. After that, we can eat taste-wise. If it is okay, then we can buy. Sweets also, same process. Sir, wherever you can go, testing should be there. Every day, morning to evening, every person, we are performing a number of testing activities. Yes. For example, simple, this demo, this demo is a, your point of view, it's a testing, yes. Sir, anyone pay the fees? No, no one. Because first you can listen the class, okay, how Mahesh sir is teaching, the way of teaching and the course content, everything, you have to check it. After that, maybe some students attending different, different faculties demos also. Then you are comparing two, three people, okay which class is the best, which is okay. Like that, you can decide it and you can pay the fee. So this demo is also, as a student point of view, you are testing me. Okay, how sad is taking class? Is it okay or not? Can we continue or not? Like that, you can decide it. That is called as a testing, this is also. Sir, from the birth to death, <coughs> N number of testing activities. Sir, suddenly one person is walking on the road. He is walking on the road. Suddenly he falls down. Mm. Not audible. Check your audio connection. <coughs> okay. 
suddenly fall down sir immediately what i was doing is as we can check his uh, pulse pulse breathe heart beat so that is also one type of testing only yes testing only sir that is i am telling na testing plays very very important role sir for example just now some guys are telling sir audio is not coming means you have to check your audio connection sir maybe any audio problem is there so that's why before class everything i have to check data net connection audio connection everything we have to test if everything is okay then i can start the class so here also i am doing testing activities okay thank you rupesh <clears throat> so that is called as testing wherever you can go testing should be there even though if you want to buy a pen if you want to buy a bike buy a mobile car grapes sweets morning during daily each and every human being we are doing n number of testing activities same thing apply into the software testing nothing so normally how you tested same those activities you have to do in the software that is only software testing now immediately student have doubt what is software sir yes software means nowadays everybody knows about that even the kids also using mobiles in mobiles so many apps games software everything is available there so general who will develop the software developer developer they can write programs like java or python dot net angular something they can use they can develop it. but as a tester just we are not involving coding sir coding reading not required for the tester mm -hmm. <coughs> developer will take care about the coding and development as a tester just we have to test one application na hmm sir so to develop any software there is a life cycle is there sir sdlc software development life cycle sir if you know if you are coming from it background you know all these things but don't bother so don't tell sir i am not it background like that no because so many guys testing side coming from non it people only yes like ece triple e aeronautical engineering uh, mba students bcom students like that will come no problem because testing does not require that much of programming programming is not required sir, for testing only functional knowledge is enough sir. that is i am telling sir first of all sdlc full form software development life cycle so today introduction part so basic idea i am given later i will tell more concept okay just to today i will give introduction sir first a person should be there business analyst he will take all requirements from the client make it as a document brs or srs or urs sir brs full form is business requirement specification SRS full form is software or system requirement specification. URS means user requirement specifications. Sir, what it contains, who will prepare everything later on, I will tell. Just to present flow, you can understand. BA full form is business analyst. He can interact with the client and take all requirements stored as a document. Okay. Next, a system analyst will come into picture. He will do analysis. He will prepare documentation FRS. The first full form is functional requirement specification. Sir, every application contains some functionalities. For example, this Zoom app also contains functionalities. What is this? Screen sharing and voice. Sir, if screen is not coming properly. If voice is not coming properly. Anyone can use this Zoom. No one. So main functionality that is. Sir, this edit place. I want to write something. If you want to store, I can save. like that so every application have functionality sir same like that sir after that design architecture will come he will give design ui and the database <coughs> gm is graphical user interface database sir any application two ends are there for example every day we are using google so whenever i open a page is coming this is called as front end 
So one more example, sir, whenever you can go for a movie, movie, theaters, movie. So recently, Pushpa, some movies came, 90% everyone watched that movie. Okay, fine. Sir, at the time of movie, whenever you can go to movie on screen, who are available? Hero, heroine, comedian, villain, people are coming. But movie background, so many people they are working, sir. Director, producer, choreographers, music directors, makeup men, dupe, hero dupe sometimes. So these many people will be there. Same like with every application, two ends should be there. One is front end, what we are seeing. Second one is back end. So to develop front end, the technologies will be different. UI developers will take care. HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, like that. Sir, backend means to develop backend. One language is required, one framework is required, and one database is required. Language means Java, Python, .NET, Angular, anything. Frameworks also different frameworks are there. If a Python, Django, Flask is there. Databases means Oracle, SQL Server, those are. So developer will take care. So design architecture will do designing, sir. So after designing, developer will come into picture. He will do coding. Now one software is ready. So to develop software, these are there. Requirements, analysis, design, coding. So now what is your testing? Whatever software given by developers, is it properly working or not based on my requirements? I have to test. That is called as a testing. Simple word. Just now someone is telling, starting. Madam, what is your testing means? Sir? The application functionality is properly working or not? Yes. Whatever software given by developers, is it properly working on it based on client requirements I have to test? That is my responsibility and nothing. Sir, for example, in your home, fan is there. Fan working on automatic, how can check just to switch on? If it is rotating, yes, sir, working. Otherwise, something problem. We are intimated to the electrician. Babu, fan is not working, please check it. Electrician will do. Same thing here also. If application not working properly, I'm intimated to the developer. Babu, application is not properly good. Please check it. Sir, up to now everyone came, but where is the heroes, QA people, quality analyst people? They have to do testing. The type of testing is called as a system testing. What is system testing? Just now I'm telling. A software given by developers, my responsibility is, is it working or not based on requirements? That is called a system testing. And a simple word answer. Because based on client requirements, application implemented by my developers. <coughs> what is my responsibility? Is it properly working or not working? I have to check. That is my responsibility. That is called as a testing concept. Simple concept. Sir, when compared with any language, programming, Java, Java, this, that, Angular, any course you can take. Testing should be very simple and easy. Anyone can survive in the testing area. Just like English, like language only, with simplest words, everything. So once I completed testing, I can hand over to the client. Now client will do one type of testing that is called as UAT, user acceptance testing. It will take care of a client, client will do testing. Once it is done, we can release into market. Uh, this is called as SDLC because uh, before going to testing, first we have some basic knowledge about the software. <clears throat> That's why I'm telling this story. Sir, but it is a big chapter, sir. Just I am completed 10 minutes, sorry. No, no, no. One hour it will take. What is requirements? What is BRS? What is FRS? What content available GUI database? Just today demo, I am given just over your schema. And SDLC process tells how to develop an application based on client requirements within the specified time and cost. Whatever pages are available, SDLC pages, these are all. 
requirements analysis design coding testing so if anybody is asking what is a testing means testing is one of the important phase in sdlc and a simple word testing is one important phase in sdlc because as a tester we can do 40% of activities in this area whether application working or not working now because uh, if we are not given quality application to the customer next time onwards no one can come to our organization for project so simple example what happened guys are going simple thing simple thing is so yes <clears throat> sglc so software development is going on there once it is okay in sglc different types of models will be there that is sglc models SDLC models mean software development life cycles. Whatever different models will be there. Waterfall model, prototype model, incremental model, spiral model. rad model big bang fish v model agile model there are the different models will be available there kya ho gaya suddenly guys are gone <laughs> It by mistake let's join them by mistake some people came and gone sir see these are all the sglc models sir software development life cycle models sir how sglc is there same tomorrow we have one life cycle stlc software testing life cycle should be there as sglc describes software development stlc describes software testing in that test initiation test planning test case design test execution defect reporting we are all stlc so totally at the mo manual testing sir three life cycles will be there sdlc stlc and blc bug life cycle these type of life cycles will be there in our <clears throat> okay yeah so now sir as a tester what we have to learn means whatever software testing methods are there software testing methods in e company there are two types of testing are there only two manual testing automation testing only these two are there wherever you can go any industry anywhere only these two types of testings will be there so basically you know what is manual what is automation one second shekh basa i am thinking to purchase your course sir i would like to know whether in manual testing 
SQL not added. Yes, yes. After manual testing at the time of Selenium real time concepts, I will tell. Definitely can take, no problem. Yes, Basha. Sir, observe. Manual testing is observed. I will give full clarity end of the session, okay? Sir, what is a manual testing, sir? Manual testing means, sir, here no tool, nothing. As a test engineer, directly interact with an application, check the application functional behavior that is called as manual testing. For example, there is an application is there, some HMS, healthcare management system. So I want to check login is working, not working manually, what to do? Enter username, enter password, click on login. After that, click on logout. This is called as manual, manual process. As a tester, directly interact with your application, check the functional behavior, manual testing. Mm -hmm. At this time, as a tester, we have to write test cases. Sir, enter manual testing theoretical part only. Your main important concept is what is a test case? How to write test cases? How many types of test cases are there? Those things are available there. But what is automation? Automation also done by tester, but between tester and application, there is a tool will be there. I have to give an instruction to the tool. Tool will performing an application, sir. That is called automation. The tool is, which tool we are using? Selenium. Yes, Selenium we are using because nowadays, so many opportunities will be there for Selenium. So at that time, we have to write test to scripts. Means the conversion process of test cases into test to scripts is nothing but a with the help of tool is called as automation. For so simple example, if you go for any shopping complex, okay, I need to go to the sixth floor. Sixth floor, I want to go. There are different ways are there. That is, one, I can use steps, steps manually. Next, I can use escalator. Or else I can use lift. So lift and escalator is automation. Normal steps, if I go six, seven, that is called as manual. For example, if I do some calculations, sir. Four into five, 20. 20 into six, 120. 120 into three, 360. One, two, three, four, five into eight, seven, six. Katam. No answer. Immediately we open Calci. Calci we opened up and we can check with this answer. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, six. So one, two, three, four into seven, eight, sorry, eight, seven, six. That is the answer. Immediately I'm getting. Manually, it will take so much time. <clears throat> Same here also. Manually, we have to write all test cases, sir, without using that is called as test case. Sir, what is test case? How to write test case? And everything I will take care. But at the time of automation, we have to write these test cases into test strips. It's called as our automation testing. So any company, only these two are there, manual and automation, only these two types will be available there. So totally, sir, see, today what I'm discussing is, sir, I'm not telling any subject today, Monday onward subject will start. Who joined late? See, first I started with the testing. Testing means it's a normal word, general word. Mm. If you want to buy a pen, if you want to buy a car, if you want to buy a bike, <coughs> grapes, sweets, so we need to go to the test stage, compulsory. Regular process, that is that. So morning to evening, every day, each and every person doing a number of activities. Example, I'm telling this demo, 
this demo is also your point of view on type of testing only if you are happy with this demo then only you can continue classes you can pay the money everything so today also you are doing testing now this point of view you are doing testing once you are okay you can go through that wait 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 i will tell so okay so if you want to go for software testing first we can go for software at the time life cycle is there sdlc like requirements analysis design coding testing release and maintenance who are the people involving these people business analyst system analyst design architecture developer qa so remaining phase you chose the only you can concentrate on testing only because as a tester our job is only testing only again sdlc nine models i will tell waterfall prototype incremental spiral rad big bang fish v azel lovedes latest model is azel model using in the company every company how sdlc pages are same sdlc pages test initiation test planning test case design execution defect reporting test closure after that any company two types of testing should be there manual and automation is there so now what i want to explain to you first i can tell manual testing sir after that automation tool selenium with java selenium tool we are using with java and defect tracking tool that is uh, mantis bt one is asking jira jira is not there for me mantis is available there and along with uh, a real time concept sir means real time project whatever concepts you are using that concepts i am telling total course duration is 2 months 2 months will take duration daily session 1 hour 11 to 12 database no 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 database will take care by database test engineer sir i will go materials i will provided pdf recorded videos i will go you don't do anything just you have to listen and you need to practice and up yes that is i am telling na java if you don't anything about java how much java is required for selenium that java i will explain first of all not complete java no 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 not complete java complete java will take minimum 6 months so how much java is required for selenium that java basics oops concepts i will tell like class object reference variable how many types of variables are there constructor method interface abstract class concrete class exceptional link concept inheritance concept method overloading so how much java required for selenium that java i will take care one second i will show course content and i will show materials also everything i will show one minute you time here video download available i will give especially other guys other faculty they never give download facility and they will give 3 months 6 months access only but to my side i will give lifetime access download option also i will give that facility is available and one more facility for example at the time of selenium first time if you are not getting the concept no problem i will allow in my second batch also because parallel i have morning to evening batches are there morning 8 o'clock 9 o'clock now 11 o'clock evening 6 7 so once selenium started if you are not getting it parallelly one week 10 days difference i can start another batch in that batch also i will allow you no problem <coughs> sir see the course content first manual course content software testing introduction part first of all <coughs> what is testing what is yeah thank you anusha software quality testing method roles next is glc sglc model sir waterfall prototype incremental spiral rad big bang fish we say three methodologies will be there white box black box gray box after the testing levels unit testing integration system uat along with real time some testing concepts are there like smoke sanity retesting regression testing 
regression, exploratory, all this. And finally, STLC lifecycle will be there. So after course content materials, everything will be available there. Yes, you no need to write anything. Sir, once the manual is over, next we can go for Selenium. Next we can go for Selenium. This is the Selenium course content you have to check here. First introduction, Selenium IDE, RC, RC deprecated, web C, Java basics I will tell. Fundamental Java I will tell. JUnit, object repository, test engine framework, automation lifecycle. Here also programs, installation, documentations are available there. Sir, once manual selenium is done, everyone asking project, project, project. Project means, see, I don't want. Sure, definitely available, definitely. Sheikh Baba, okay. Soft copy, I will give you how hard copy I'm given. You are somewhere else, I am somewhere. How can I possible hard copy? Soft copy, I will give Anusha. Okay, now, nah. yeah. So, at the time of project, sir, in Selenium, project means see, real time, what is happening, I will tell that one. This is the content real time. If you want to claim any experience and everything, this is a page object model. What is a page object model? This is the real time content, what you can record in the real time. Framework structure. How to configure drivers, log 4J, Apache PYA, property files, reusable functions, page factory, listener, street ray, HTML, Jenkins, GitHub, extent report. These are all the real time concepts. So I can take two, three applications. So I am explaining three, four applications. All scenarios, all possibilities. This is maximum enough. Yes, everyone don't do. ask me project, project, project. Real time, what is going on there that I can explain here. Based on this, you are in a position. If you want to claim any experience, fake experience, two years, three years, sir, as possible. So once you can go through my concept, whatever I am telling, manual, Selenium, and one defect tracking tool. See, someone is asking Jira, Jira, Jira. Jira is not required. Okay, na? Mm, it's not a required tool. Mantis, I am telling. Same like the Jira also. So whatever you can require for the job, because from last 10 years, some of I'm taking the classes in Durga, sir, 12 years, sir. How many students, there? so many students are getting jobs, sir. Whatever I'm telling, you need to practice. Definitely, you will get it. You will definitely get the job, Sheikh Baba. Here's the thing. Definitely. When, when you can practice it, then only. Sir, duration, two months. Daily, one hour is the session. Materials, a soft copy, I will give. How can I give hard copy? No chance. So mail, I will mail you. Total these three pieces, now in this one piece, 8,000. If you want to register this contact number, 8096969696. My people will guide you totally. <clears throat> now, whatever doubts you have, you can ask now. I will respond one by one, one by one. You can ask. Yes, only manual testing 20 days, those here. But only manual, no use. Manual, Selenium, real-time project concepts all required for you. Only manual testing, you never get the calls. That is my side suggestion. Yes, anyone having doubts, you can unmute and you can speak. Or else who want to speak, you can ask me, I will unmute you. No doubts? Anita, Anusha, Gayatri, Gausia, Shavanti. So today I'm not telling any subject, nothing. Only just an introduction. Just an overview. What is your testing? What I have to explain to you? How much duration it is? Daily session, materials, recording videos, and those information I am provided to you. Once the payment done, I will gather all your numbers, create one group in that every person should be there. What your doubts you have?
Sorry, guys. Sir, today, first class, this is yesterday, two days before demo started, Anusha, hi. So Friday, uh, Friday class, we started demo. At the time, just uh, we had a discussion, what is testing? Okay, maximum everybody is there in the demo class. Today is my <coughs> first session. So what is a software testing? So basically, <coughs> basically already I'm given. Testing means someone is telling, is it working or not working or based on our requirements? Yes, perfect. I will give one definition. Sir, for testing, there are n number of definitions are there. Verification and validation of a software is called as software testing. Sir, what is verification and what is validation? Hmm. Verification means, for example, if any application is there, I want to check whether is it properly implemented or not. For example, I can take a calc calculator. So in this one, <clears throat> sir, calculator means whatever is required, zero to nine. All buttons are available. Arithmetic operations, sir. plus, minus, star, everything is available. For the result, editor is there. Minimize, maximize, close buttons. Everything is available. That is called as verification. <laughs> For example, in our first demo, I already explained. Sir, if you want to go with uh, buy a bike or car or mobile or grapes, sir. first we have to check look and feel. <clears throat> look and feel means how it is looking good. If it is good, we need to taste and we can buy. Otherwise, no. Wherever it can go, compulsory look and feel is very, very good, sir. Compulsory. Yes, sir, no, yes. Sir, for example, <coughs> I want to buy a second hand mobile. If I go to the shop, sir, if I go to a shop, I'm asking, sir, is there any second hand mobiles are there? Yes, sir, definitely. They are given some five to six mobiles. Five to six mobiles they are given. Sir, as a every human being, first we have to check what we have to check. First to how looking good. Is there any scratches? Anything is there or not, we are checking. After that, only you have to validate, sir. Validate means pressing the buttons. Keypad is working, not working. We have to take one selfie. And if any songs are there, we can listen that song, so That is called as validation. So verification means, observe carefully. Verification means whether the software is correctly implemented or not. It is also called as a Sir, for example, I want to check the application. I have to check an HMS, uh, hospital management system. First, what we check? All the fields are available, not available. Username available, password is available, login button, everything is available. So first, we need to check all are available, not available, static, static, static. <clears throat> Sir, in this page, login button is there or not? Yes. Reset button available, not yes. That is called as verification. Is it working or not working? How can we check? Enter valid username and password, click on login. Yes, it's working. For example, in case of calculate also, first I have to check for verification. Yes, everything is available. I need to perform some operations. Yes, yes, yes. Minimize everything. So verification means when application correctly implemented or not implemented uh, is called as a verification. It is also called as a static testing, sir. What we can call static. Static means without execution <clears throat> validation means is it properly working or not working or? validation means 
I implement that software needs the customer requirements or not. It needs also <coughs> all as a dynamic testing. So now we can some idea both verification validation okay so sir wherever you can go compulsory these two we are doing in day to day life normal our life scenarios and in application wise everything verification and validation of an application is called as a software testing verification means whether one application correctly implemented or not implemented or Validation means the implemented software meets the customer requirements or not uh, both. Sir, why we need to go for testing means we have to give better quality application to the customer. If you are not given quality application, no one can give projects to us next time onwards. Just like same classes only. Sir, if we can give proper uh, subject to the students, once you are getting job, once you are happy with the subject, then only you can refer to other students. Definitely. If you are not interested with my subject, my lecture, no one can uh, refer my name. So you have to give better quality, subject-wise, application-wise, everything. Wherever you can go, testing will be there. So software testing will help. <coughs> Reliable application to the customer, and also it will reduce maintenance cost for your project. What the mean objective means to identify the defect. The object of software testing is to identify the defects. And those are resolved and their quality. Are what is the defect? Very important in testing <coughs> because so, <coughs> so these are all the just a normal technologies and all these are. <coughs> so what is a defect? What is a defect? Defect means sir, we are expecting something from our application. But we are not uh, reaching that one that is called as diff. For example, see, simple example. So, assume this calculator I am clicking on 5 into 6. <clears throat> you are expecting something from the application. Yes. You are expecting something from the application. But it is not happening there. <coughs> mm. For example, sir, at the time of uh, here, we have some expected results. What it is that? 5 into 6, 30. But after clicking on equal to what is that, we don't know. Actual result, maybe it is coming 11. Something mismatch is happened. That is called as a defect. Because we are expecting something from application. We are not reaching that much. Then it is called as a defect. But your calculator is working properly. Yes, it is coming. Just I am giving an example. What we are expecting and what we are getting, if you are not matching, then it is called as a defect. Uh, 
Are you getting it? Yes. Defect means be there deviation between expected results and <coughs> actual them. AUT. AUT full form is application under test. Which application we are testing? So it is a deviation between expected results and actual results in AUT. Called as a defect. Now some companies are also called as an issue. Student. Yes, everything should be same only. The defect can also be called as an issue. Some company is called as issue. Someone is called as incident. Someone is called as a fault. Everything should be same. That is a defect. So sometimes, <coughs> generally, we are using this word bug, bug. What is a bug? Go to that. Go to the Google. So do you know bug? Real, real mean bug, bug, bug. A small insect, yes. Sir, who are staying in hostels? They know very well. A small insect, chota wala black. <coughs> Telugu, we can call nalulu. So whenever you are uh, sleeping in bed, in hostel beds, especially in hostels, beds, it is available. Whenever you are sleeping, it is coming and disturbing your sleep. The same word given to here also. Bug means <coughs> sir, <coughs> tester can identify defects related to the developer. Now developer is checking whether it is a valid invalid. If it is valid, then it is a bug. Because sometimes tester will do mistakes, sir. That's why. Developers are accepted X. If developer is not accepted, then it is not a bug. No chance. Compulsory developer should accept. Because, yes, sir, sometimes defects is there means we did some mistakes. Sir. Maybe server problem. Net problem, <coughs> database not available, <coughs> maybe system configuration, low, those many reasons are there. That's why as a tester, my responsibility, I'm intimating to the developer. If developer is accepted, okay, fine, chalta, but <coughs> what is a failure? Failure means, sir, as a testing side, my side testing completed, I can release application to the market. End user can use this. It's so a general road failure. <coughs> so suppose I want to buy a car, sir. I am asking my friend, or I want to take a car, and immediately he is asking a which car. I am asking Hyundai, uh, when you like that, I am telling. Then immediately he is telling, or you know, it's a failure product, don't go that one, you can go for Creta. So failure means, Something is there in that application. Mm. Like mileage is not coming. So for example, you can buy a pen. <coughs> but at the time of purchasing, you are not checked it. Once you go to the home, you open cap and write. It's not working. It's not writing. Um, I mean, what we can feel? Failure. So generally, in real time, so many failure products are built. No one can buy Hyundai when you fail your car. So like so many are there, failure products and everything. Means if defect reaches to the end users, then he will feel that a failure. And defects are to the end users. Or <sighs> always failures.
But what is that? <coughs> Sir, see here, four words I'm telling, very important words in interview round. Effect me. <laughs> the deviation between expected results, actual results is called as defect. Defect also called as issue, incident, fault. Bug means whenever developer is accepted, then bugs. Failure means when defects are reached to end user, then those are called as failures, error. So within program, so developer, they can write programs to develop an application, either Java, Python, something. Within the program, any logical syntax, for example, here, everybody knows about minimum C language. Because even they came from ECE, triple any background, C language is there. So at the time of programming, sir, we have to write program, logical mistakes, syntax mistakes are there. Those are called as error. Mm. Human mistakes while developing application. Logical and syntax mistakes, that is called as error, sir. A very, very, very important words these four are defect, bug, failure, error. Because whenever you can go to interview room, definitely these questions will come. Defect means deviation between expected and actual. Bug means <coughs> developers are accepted, then failure and user error. So I will give much clarity. <clears throat> so here, four words I am telling. One is defect. Second one, bug. Error, failure. Okay, Chalta. <clears throat> sir, who can identify defects, sir? As a tester, that is our job. Test engineer can identify the defects. So, as a tester, as a tester, we are calling as a defect, sir. Whenever I'm intimating to the developer, if he is accepted, it is a bug. So as a developer point of view, all is a bug. If it is reaches to end user in the live application, it is a failure. <laughs> Within program, <coughs> it's intact, sir. mistakes called as errors. So, sir, here four words are there, sir. Defect, bug, error, failure. Who is calling defect tester? Who is calling for developer point of view? End user called as a failure. Programmer within the mistake logical syntax called as error. Sir, I want to tell you a thing. So generally, when our class started morning, morning, we have to wish to something. What I can wish? Good morning. In school days also, whenever teacher is coming, we have to tell. Good morning. <coughs> no. Same thing in Telugu. Shubodayam. Same thing in Hindi. Canada, Tamil, sir, here, sir, whatever five words I'm telling, sir, good morning, Subodayam, Suprabha, Subodaya, Canada, Kalevanukan, Tamil. Sir, here five words are there, but the context is same or not? I want to wish. All are same, but uh, Telugu one word, Hindi one word, Tamil one word, 
ಕನ್ನಡ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸರ್ ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಸ್ ಗೆರರ್ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ 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 ಎಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ that is a defect bug failure at the sir entry point of view very sir if you have any doubts you can use chat panel or else you can speak to you can unmute and speak no problem because the initial days if you are getting any doubts uh, you can ask me no problem if it is a small doubt or big doubt or anything no problem sir that is a four words are there sir defect bug failure and error sir while developing any project whatever activities you are following the to do any project first the developer will be there they can write coding but that there is a technical is the sglc software development life cycle sir what is coding who will do developer sir sir for a tester coding is not required developer will take care writing programs by using programming language a scripting language in order to develop an application who will do so tester you don't bother about that developer will take care after that it is given to the tester tester we have one life cycle is the stlc software testing life cycle sdlc means software development stlc means software testing so nowadays every organization they can maintain software testing team because after successful implementation application pakka it will give to the testers in general the organization maintains the testing team after successfully application developer that will be deferred to testing what is a testing other definition validating an application is not nine requirements and applications all that the testing sir who are the members are there ಸ್ಟೈಯರ್ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಸರ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಇಸ್ देयर sir first what is activity coding sir without coding no application who will take care developer only after the testing who will take care of testing june so at the time of testing our motto our intention is identify the defects once identify defect i am intimated to the developers that is called as a defect reporting yeah. so defect reporting means notifying about the defects to the developers it's called as a defect reporting who will do tester only is performed by the team 
many tools will be there, sir. So manually we can do or else any tool. So as a tester, my job completed. I tested application, I'm identifying this method. Next. Debugging. So debugging is a normal technique, sir. Whenever you can write any program, C program, simple program. Addition of two numbers. Sir, program output is not coming properly. Then what to do? We have to debug, debugging. So generally developer will do debugging because developer is responsible to write the coding. So he will do the debugging. Debugging means analyze the source code of application. Order to identify root cause for Performed by the developers, yeah. Because why defect? Because something problem in the coding that can be identified by my yes developer. So generally, everyone in any programming language, this is the common technique. Because whatever problem is there, I want to identify. So to identify a root cause for a defect in application. That is called as debugging, debugging. Sir, at the time of Selenium programs also, we have to use this technique, debugging technique. Mm -hmm. So generally, any programming common, you can go see Java, Python, any debugging is common technique. Bug fixing. Sir, they can identify it. Where the problem is there, identified. Okay, something code wrong, something issue is there. Immediately, they can change the source code. Modifying source code of application. In order to solve the defects. Fixing our So wherever you can go, anywhere, these activities are common. Sir, these are tazar. No one can ask in the interview zone, what is coding, what is testing, what is debate reporting. Just terminology, I am telling. Because when I, whenever SGLC started, then the coding and everything should be started. Not coding, what we can call uh, interview room questions, everything will come. These are all just technologies. What is coding? What is testing? So coding will be done by developers. For that, they can use a life cycle SDLC. Testing will be done by tester. For that, there is a life cycle there, SDLC. Defect reporting done by tester. There is a life cycle there, PLC. Bug life cycle. Next to debugging done by developer to identify the root cause where the problem is there. Next to bug fixing. So developer they can change code and everything that is. Sir, as a test engineer, what you can require? Suppose example, you want to attend any interview. What skills you can require? So compulsory manual testing is required. Without manual testing, no interview, nothing. Manual must and should. After manual testing, you have to go for automation. That is one tool, Selenium. One functional tool, Selenium. After that, one defect tracking tool, Mantis BT, I will tell. Mantis BT, Jira, Bugzil, anything. <clears throat> so these three are important. 
sir, if you know SQL database, added advantage, but not compulsory. If it is there in your hand, added advantage. Sir, any industry, whatever software testing, uh, any company to are uh, there. Well, testing and uh, automation testing. Manual means, sir, without any tool, yes, we have to test. Sir, already at the time of demo, I'm telling. Everybody knows about that. There is six floors building is there. I want to go to the top floor, sixth floor. I can use only steps of manual, manual, manual. Automation means I can use some tool, like escalator or lift to something that is automation. So I can do calculations, sir. Small, small calculations, sir. Directly I can go for manual. If I can do like this, sir, I can use calculator. So everything is possible manually, but manual will take so much time. More people is required, sir, when compared with automation. <laughs> so manual means without tool, if we test any application, that is called as manual testing. So every organization, first we can go manual only. Without manual, no interior, nothing, no job. And one more thing, any application manual testing is possible, sir. But any application automation not possible. So wherever we can go, these two types of testings will be there. Manual testing and automation. Manual test required more manpower. Automation required less manpower. You can reduce cost to the company also. In automation, one time I can write generate scripts. So any number of times I can execute. Manually means every time we can execute test cases. So today, just to introduction, I'm telling, sir. So at the time of introduction, so who are missing starting C? Verification and validation of an application is called as a software testing. <clears throat> sir, what is verification? Verification means whether an application properly implemented or not implemented, working or not working or later on. What is validation? Validation means is it properly working or not based on the requirement. So wherever you can go anywhere, both should be applicable. If you want to buy a mobile, if you want to buy a bike, if you want to buy a car, if you want to buy a TV, anywhere, first we can see, look and feel how looking good. Then we can go for validation. So what is the use mean? to identify defects. So what is the defect? A deviation between expected actual. Who can be identified? A test engineer. Once I'm identified, intimate to the developer. Developer can check whether it is valid, invalid. If it is okay, bug. Failure means end users. Error means human mistakes, logical syntax mistakes. So what are activities will be there? First to coding, next to testing, defect reporting, debugging, bug fixing. As a tester, what you can prefer? Manual testing, one automation tool, one defect tracking tool, along with total. So, already I'm telling, sir, total duration will take months. Daily, one hour session. Two, twelve. If it's discount price, 8,000. Contact number 8096. Another number is also there, and that is um, because you can call those numbers, um, they will give clarity. Uh, 9246. This is the information what I want to. Sir, once the payment done, I will give all the videos, recordings, yes, pre recorded recordings, and materials, everything I will provide. It. Hmm. Call to that number if you have any doubts. Subject phrase if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Yes, I will unmute you. Whatever if you have doubts, you can ask them. 
Sir, starting initially, I can go slowly. 40, 45 minutes, I can go. Next, I can increase that time one hour because every day some new people will join. So two, three days. Sir, so if you're okay with my lecture today and tomorrow, after that onwards, you can done the payments. So call that number. They will give account details and everything. And you will get mails also. Our company account number, Google Pay, phone pay numbers, everything. And then we can make the payments. So. Okay, now guys. <clears throat> Sir, up here, what are I'm telling clear? Anusha, Anvesh, Gayatri, Shavanti. Clear what are I'm telling today? The testing is very simple and easy. Yeah. Very, very simple. It's not a big deal. It's very easy because coding reading is not required. Complete English like language only. Yeah, I will tell at the time of Selenium, I will tell Gayatri. Present manual, not required anything. At the time of Selenium, I will tell. Or else, meanwhile, if you want to install, go to the Google or else YouTube. My videos will be there. Mm. End user means customer, Gaussia, customers. For example, you can buy a car, you are end user. You can buy a book, you can buy a pen, you are end user. Yes or no? The product who can purchase and who can use, that person is called as end user. For example, if you are using Gmail, you are end user. If I am using, I am end user. Gmail is given by Google company. Sir, who uses product in live? The person is called in. For example, for example, go see if you want to go movie, you can book the tickets online by using book my show. So you are end user for that book my show. That is the end user. Clarity getting? That's very good. So like that, whatever you have doubts, you can ask. No problem. Any doubt, you can ask me. Sir, okay, today we'll end up session. So tomorrow also same link you can join daily, slowly, some, some concepts I will explain to you. Mm, like that, we will go through. Okay? Bye, everyone. Have a nice day. Same link you can join. Uh, sir, Durgosoft is given feedback. Hi, sir. Thanks for attending training with Java, real-time project demo. Hmm. One second, one second, hold. One moment, yeah, Gosia, thank you, thank you, welcome.
<coughs> yes. Hi, good morning, everyone. Sir, yesterday, just introduction part completed. That is a basic, basic introduction. So subject not started, just technologies. What I discussed yesterday. Okay. <coughs> Two minutes, just I will give over you. Software testing we discussed yesterday. Sir, what is testing? What is software? General things, these are all. Everybody knows about these things. Sir. Okay, fine. Now, my requirement is yes, both verification and validation of a software is called as a software testing. Sir, so I already explained this concept. Just five to ten minutes overview I'm giving, sir. Who are missing? If anybody, that's your overview. So verification and validation of your software is called as a software testing. Sir, what is verification and what is the validation? Verification means whether an application is properly implemented or not is called as a verification. Validation means the implemented software meets the customer requirements or not. <coughs> For example, if you go to any calculator, so in the calculator, all buttons 0 to 9 available, not available, I'm checking. Arithmetic operations, everything. So that is called as verification. Validation means is it properly working or not working? For example, sir, I want to check any application. Yes, like uh, Gmail, Google, Facebook, something. So whenever I open any application, first I have to check all buttons available, not available. Means uh, username, uh, login, reset, password, everything is yes, available. It's called as verification. Verification means application implemented or not implemented. Uh, that is called as verification. Validation means is it properly working or not working? Uh, that is called as our validation part. Both we can call it as a software testing. So what is the main object of testing is to identify the defect. SDM given some words. Defect, bug, failure, and uh, so defect who, who can be identified as a test engineer. What is defect? Uh, expected results and uh, actual results. This matches. As I already discussed, yes. if any division between expected, I'm expecting something from application, but actually it is not happening. That is called as a defect. Yes. Deviation between expected results and actual results is called as a defect. Who can identify the test? But the main intention of test engineer is to identify defects. But what is your bug? Whenever developers are accepted defects, then those are called as a bugs. Because <clears throat> once I am identifying defect, I am intimated to my developer. If he is accepted, Okay, uh -huh. and, uh, yes, it is a bug, 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 bug. If they are not accepted, it is not a bug. So what is failure? After testing, client release into the market. If the end users, third party users, whenever using, they are finding that is uh, when defects are reached to end users. End user means customer, sir. Sir, defect reach to the customer directly. Then he will feel that failure product. Yes, sir. Sir, whenever the cinema, one movie is released, whether cinema hit the patta, who will be decided? The audience. Means end users, they can decide it. If the cinema is good, okay, audience will come. Now, latestly, two movies came in Telugu. One is uh, Kiladi and the other one is... Uh, 
డీజే టిల్లు సంథింగ్ మూవీస్ ఆర్ రిలీజ్ క్లాడి వాస్ క్లాప్ డీజే టిల్లు వాస్ సక్సెస్ బికాస్ సంథింగ్ గో స్ట్రాంగ్ ఇన్ దట్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ రిలీజింగ్ కస్టమర్స్ కస్టమర్స్ ఫీలింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ ఫెయిల్యూర్స్ సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎర్ర మీన్స్ విత్ ఇన్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఇఫ్ ఎనీ మిస్టేక్ ఈస్ దేర్ yes human mistakes while developing an application logical and syntax mistakes that is so so defect bug failure error so as i am giving full clarity tester can be identified defect as a developer they can call it as a bug if end user contain failure and uh, error okay done so along with this i explained some more concept yesterday at the time of developing project uh, sir yesterday class this is who are missing just over here i am giving yesterday class first one coding without coding no application sir who will take care developer at that time there is a life cycle is there so developers will take care as a tester you don't bother about sir coding means writing programs <coughs> by using java na dot net or python or angular or something they have to develop an application that is called as coding who will take care developers the life cycle should be sdlc software development life cycle testing means stlc software testing life cycle who will do test engineer means once developer job is over sir they are develop their application after that they are given to the tester so we have to test application based on client requirements and expectations is called as a testing third one defect reporting at that time one life cycle so total manual testing sir three life <coughs> three life cycles will come sdlc stlc blc software development life cycle software testing life cycle bug life cycle three life cycles we will discuss sir and one more thing sir manual testing is very simple and easy yaar anyone can learn even though you came from sir who can be identified bugs and who can be intimated test engineer manual testing very simple sir even though if your background is ece triple e mechanical aeronautical mba bcom any background testing should be simplest easiest course when compared with all other courses when you go for java when you go for python dot net angular all these testing should be very very easy so for coding sdlc is there testing sdl defect sir once it is done where the problem is there debugging will be done by developers debugging means where the problem sir why defects are presenting because of coding mistakes only just now i'm telling error human mistakes while developing application like logical or syntax something that can be so once debugging done bug fixing also done by developers so five activities will be there <coughs> coding testing defect reporting debugging bug fixing so as a tester only we have to do testing defect reporting coding debugging bug fixing one by developers only developers will take care so now today topic is sir see starting classes introduction classes only if you are missing anything also no problem okay software methods this is the today topic so in general every organization wherever you can go hmm.
Yes. Any organization, they can use only two types. Two test chain application. One is the manual testing. Everybody knows about that. Automation testing. First one, manual testing. Sir, manual means <coughs> yes. Already we know some basic idea. Everybody knows about that manual testing. Without any tool, we have to test one application that is called as manual. Mm -hmm. Without any automation tool, we have to test one application. So you no tools, no programming, nothing. As a test engineer, we get one application and we have to test manually. So sir, it is the process of testing an application manually without using any automation tool. Yes. Without any tool, I'm in a position to test an application that is called as manual, sir. Manual. Sir, in manual testing, as a test engineer, we can derive and execute the test cases and we have to generate uh, reports manually for example see here a login page is there i want to check this login page with the different different values so how can we check it this login page so i can enter username I can enter password, click on login button like that. So manually here, no tools. So for example, see, if I'm entering correct username, correct password, click on login. Login should be success. Click on login. If I enter correct username, wrong password, click on login. It will get error message. So sir, entire manual testing, sir, main important, this is what it is. Wow, test cases. What is a test case? I will show sample test case here now. So later on, I will explain all present. See the sample test case. How test case should be there? Just to check it. <laughs> Just like English, like language only. Anyone can be able to understand. See here. So test case ID and description, step description expected. So I want to read this. I want to... HMS login. This test case is to verify a login functionality by using valid data. So what I'm entering, enter valid username, valid password, click on login button. Login should be successful. So different possibilities, see, I can check with invalid data. First step, valid username, invalid password. Invalid username, valid password. My expectation error message, step three. So like English like language, we can write all our test cases. This is called as a test case. So entire manual testing, what we have to do? We have to write all our test cases. That is <clears throat> mm. so again in manual testing, two approaches will be there. In manual testing, 
did I? I drop a JS. Static testing. Dynamic testing, sir. So these are all already, you know, technologies very well. But categories and all those things, so first of all, static. What is this static? Static means, sir, here one application should be there. I'm not executing that application, but I'm in a position to identify the mistakes. That is called a static. For example, here login page is there. In login page, in login button, is there any spelling mistakes that there are not? Uh, static. In reset button, any spelling mistakes? Static. Username password. So spelling mistakes, LA in main, visible dollar static. Because without execution, I can identify mistakes static. For example, as I'm given a calculator. In the calculator, sir, first I can check. All buttons available, not available. Yes, available. Zero to nine. Mathematic operations, everything. Working or not working or later on, that is called a static. Static means without execution of application, identifying the mistake. is called as a static. Let's see here, first point. Without executing application, identify the defects. It's called a static testing verifications. Both are some verification static testing. Sir, where we can perform static testing means like documents, sir, requirement documents, design documents. So at the time of project, there are some documents will be there, BRS, FRS, like the documents will be there. So it includes <coughs> checking of requirement documents. Design documents, sir. Sir, whatever techniques we are using, there are three techniques will be there. We can perform static testing. Read reviews. Example. So here HMS, one application I'm taking a hospital management system. So in this page, if any spelling mistakes are there or not, it's called as a static. So why people are coming, going, coming, going. Okay. So observe, static means here, Verify all spelling mistakes in buttons, labels, is a static. Yes, in this page, observe, in username, if any spelling mistake is there, execution does not require. Password, any spelling mistakes, so execution does not require. Login button available, not available. Reset button is available, not available. So in this case, Execution does not require. It's a static, sir. What it is, sir? Static. So simple thing, static, nothing but a verification. Without execution of application, identifying mistakes is called a stat static. Dynamic means compulsory. For example, this calculator is properly working or not working. We have to do some operations. 5 into 6, 30. Okay, 6 plus 
So like that, uh, sir, we need two operations required, sir. That is called as a, sir, dynamic testing. Execution compulsory without execution, no chance. Dynamic. So, perform the testing with execution of application is called as a, a dynamic testing. Sir, where we can perform every future it includes picking up every future what an application. For example, here are two buttons are there. Suppose I'm entering something data, if I'm click and reset, it will go on. If I'm entering data, if I'm entering data in the password also, if I reset, it will go on. Login already I'm checking. Without it, if I'm writing, it is asking. And uh, if I'm click on login, if it is asking password, so okay, that is called lesser validation, sir, dynamic testing. Sir, so wherever you can go, these two compulsory static and dynamic at the time of manual. Sir, so how to do this dynamic? <clears throat> we can perform dynamic testing by using the methods. There are some methods are there. White box testing black box testing, gray box testing, unit testing. Sir, what it is, I will tell one by one, integration testing. First, you can know the terminologies, later I will tell. WBT, white box, BBT, black box, GBT, gray box, unit, integration, system, UAT, six are there. I will explain all these, what about all these, just to present. We have to habituate the terminologies, terminologies. For example, in this page, sign-in button is there. So sign-in button, login button working or not working properly. If you want to check, that is called as a dynamic. Yes. So example, validate login button is actually working or not in HMS is a dynamic testing, yes. Sir, same page, login button available or not available, static, is it working or not working, is it dynamic, sir? Simple. Yes. Available, not available, static. Working or not working, or dynamic. Simple logic. That is the static and dynamic testing, sir. Manual. Sir, the remember manual testing, what we can write, sir? Test cases. Sir, this is the sample test case. Later on, I will explain how to write test cases and different templates. Everything I will provide you. Present, these are all the introduction, introduction classes only. Mm. Later on, I will tell all the story. Then what about automation? Yes. Manual means no tools, nothing. While writing test case, I can execute it. <clears throat> but what is automation testing? So, it also done by tester. 
but there is a tool is there. We have to write in the programs in that tool like Selenium. So there are so many tools will be there. Selenium, QTP, Silk, Test, Lisa, so many. But present trending tool is Selenium. Selenium, there are so many opportunities will be there. So many jobs are there. So automation testing means automating human activities. with the programming language or I can use any third party tool. Is not an automation. So generally if you want to log in button, what I was doing as a human being, I am entering username, I am entering password, clicking on login manually. For that I am writing test cases. Same thing I'm automating with the help of that tool. So manual testing cases we are converting. The process of converting manual testing cases into test scripts. automation yes so what is a test script here test script means programming see so read this here i am writing manually so here see these three steps you can read enter valid username invalid password click on login invalid username valid password then both invalid correct test case should be this one valid username Valid password, then click on login button. Okay. Same, I can convert into scripts with the help of Selenium. See, I will show one program to you. Mm. How test scripts can be developed. In Selenium, we can write test scripts. Automation. Same HMS login logout, how I'm writing script. See this. So don't fear, I will tell this one. See, I opened selenium.com, clicking on HMS, entering username admin, password admin, click on submit, click on logout. Just our user actions only. Those things only. For how to write this script and everything, I will take care. You don't bother about that. My Huna. So manual testing, main important thing, this Excel file and everything. How to write test cases, those things. At the time of automation, we have to write the scripts. That is automation. So both we will cover. Yes, one second. Uh, yes, sir. The process of converting manual test cases. Uh, yes. So what is automation testing? Performing testing activities by using some tool. By using some automation tool that is what is our automation hello
as I'll say here. So we are performing testing activities by using some automation tool. Hmm. Is known as a automation testing. Sir, whatever tools are there, automation tools. So many are there. Sir, first of all, QTP, sir. Now name change as UFT. Now present trending Selenium. Click a test, Lisa. Oscar, Cucumber, 250 tools are there in market. But what is the present trending Selenium? Once you learn Selenium, you can upload your resume, you will get the calls. If you go to QTPFT means it is the world to 